Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Unity's in the lab. I just wanted to show you the boxing. Uh, box in a box, okay? These, everything they ship comes this way, as far as I've seen. Uh, real thick cardboard boxes and two of them, one inside another, and then really dense poly foam, okay? And um, and the thing about it is when they when they put something like this power supply that we're gonna look at inside this stuff, you can see the walls, how thick the walls are, you know, by my hand right here. And so when it's suspended in here, there's nothing that's gonna, I mean, I have to break through all that cardboard and it'd be really tough to do any kind of damage. So just the point is, oh, and by the way, plastic bag too. So the things in a plastic bag, I just want to point out that when you get this, when you order one, you don't have to worry about the guy, you know, tossing them around and abusing it. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. So the point is, you're going to get in good shape. Okay. Oh, and you know what? Did I throw the? Oh, here we go. I put pulled out the safety precautions. It's funny that they print this in a bunch of different languages, so it's kind of thick, kind of a waste of paper. Probably done so just for you know, legal reasons, I'm assuming. Because the manual, the guides and all that, you can get online, and they just give you this little thing, just to remind you. And then there's a certificate of calibration, which, you know, any really good company always provides, and they do. I've got this three output power supply, this multimeter here, and I've got a couple more things. i got one more thing after this to show you. You've seen the Spectrum Analyzer, right? That's a loaner, and they've been super nice because I've had it for like a... Man, I was surprised. I've had it for like a year. So they just gave me some new uh, files so I can renew the licenses for some of the tools. So that's why I haven't shown it. Plus, I got kind of had to show you all this other stuff. So, all right, guys. So this is a linear power supply just like the three output. It's a beast, right? It's got the handle and vents on both sides, metal box, uh, big rubber cushions. It has, I got the power cord in, whoa, it comes with the power cord, <laughs> that scared me. Um, comes with USB and it comes with these test leads, okay? So I'll show you those. And, um, but yeah, on the back, here, let me show you this. All right, guys, let me get the power cord pushed in there nice and tight. <laughs> oh, got me to knock over everything. So. Yeah, you've got the switch both stuff so that you can put, you know, whatever country you happen to be in, 100, 120, 220, 230. You got an RS-232 port, uh, remote control type stuff, the digital I.O. here, the USB connection, and the fan, okay? And then you also have this lug right here that you can tie to uh, earth ground or chassis ground. If you've got the kind of lab where maybe you have everything all tied to the same ground, then you can use that. Otherwise, you've got your earth ground and safety ground inside your power cord too, right? Well, here, let me show you the sides, okay? Both sides look the same. Bunch of vents, big old rubber cushions on the corners. Keep it from getting damaged. And it's a beast. It's heavy. So, um, you have a mechanical switch, okay? Some of their equipment, I like the way Unity does things. Some of their equipment, like the multimeters and that, they have a soft switch on front so you can put sleep mold. They have the mechanical switch on back. Mechanical switches, but they have mechanical switches on their power supplies. And, you know, mechanical switches, whether they're in the back or in the front, it's nice because they electrically or, you know, they remove things from your mains power, um, you know, isolation wise, right? Wow, look at the big old digits on that. Now, it has a protective thing. Should I take it off? Yeah, let's go ahead and take it off. This is mine to keep, so I can take them off, right? Well, <laughs> all right, that didn't work. Uh, let's grab it right here. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming off. Wow, nice shiny display. Wonder if I should have left it on for the camera. All right, guys, so check it out. Uh, it's very well labeled, if you can tell. Red, black, green, okay? Now this green one, you know, it's one of those things where some people will use them. So often I see these never used, okay? So that's just to tie it to, that's tied to the chassis, which is tied to that safety ground on the 
on the uh, back of the unit, you know, your power cord ground or that, that E lug, what I call it. And then just to check the spacing, let's take one of these guys and the ground sides on this side for these kind of lugs. But I just want, yeah, so standard spacing. That is amazing. That's awesome. Some people, for some reason, don't use the standard spacing. Sometimes because of spacing or whatever, I don't know. But now the CV and CC, I see a green light here. Okay, here's this light. So we'll check that out in just a moment. But constant voltage or constant current, right? So the voltage you can set by this knob. Okay, push it in for... Uh, the fine or the coarse adjustments it's okay you know what when you push it okay I see it's like a you know pretty intuitive adjustment so you can push in just the digit you want so if you want to get really fine you can just adjust this one up okay and if you want to you know get more of a coarse adjustment go all the way to the left and turn that when you're up to 32 so you got 32 vol volts max let's check out current Okay, 6.2. That's the same as on the three output. They had the same limits. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. And you're right at close to 200 watts. And it says off here, which is nice. It actually tells you you're off. The light tells you you're on too. So there's no voltage here. Then when you turn this, you can hear the relay click on. It says on. So off on. That's nice. I like that. So linear power supply is going to be very quiet. Now it does have this little speaker up here, so you can turn off the sound if you don't like the beeping sound. You hold it down, it says it's off. I hear the relay, but no beeps. So I'll turn on the chirper because, wait, hold on, you do, oh, you did a short press to turn it back on. Okay. And you can also lock. So once you have things set up, you might not want to be, let's say you set something up for five volts. And you want to make sure you don't accidentally push something to take it up higher. So you can just lock it. Oh, so just a soft touch? Okay, makes sense. A short push, and lights go on when they're active. So the lock's on, but then if you hold it down, because then that way you have to hold it down so you're purposely doing it. And there you go. Turn it on. All right, nice. All right, so now let's check out their test seeds, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and bring the, you know what? Let's bring this down to 20 volts, okay? And we'll take the current to uh, 4.2 amps, 84 watts. So the output's not on yet, so I'll go ahead and plug these in. Oh, that's nice. These kind of plugs, they're kind of like those Hirschman, if you know that German brand. That's kind of what they look like to me, but they're not. And by the way, this one doesn't have a real tight fit. So that's the bad thing about some of these uh, banana jacks that, you know, you have to put a little screwdriver in there, a knife blade or something to spread those out a little bit because that's that doesn't fit real tight. I'm going to use this razor blade, see if I can spread them out a little bit without breaking the blade. That's easy to do. Let's see if that... Okay, that, that helped. I don't know, you know, the, so this stuff was used in a show before it came to me. So it's not, you know, it's been used by people on the floor. And, okay, yeah, there we go. Now that's nice and snug. All right, so those are the kind that have the things to spring up. Those Hirschman that I was talking about, they have the baskets that seem to work, you know, a lot better. So, but they do look have that feel. They have those little things where you can plug in another banana, like say a multimeter, if you're reading, using a meter to read this. Um, all right, guys, so I love this KPS meter. It's real high-end meter, uh, but at a reasonable cost. So I'm gonna use it here just to kind of show you. So I'm gonna plug this in here, and let's set this to DC volts, since that's what we're looking at. And we're going to turn on the output. Okay. So we got our 20 volts, 1999. Oh, here we go, 199999, 19.98. So, okay, took a moment for things to start degree. And 
Right now, no current, okay? So I'm gonna turn it off again. This time, we're not gonna see the voltage. We're gonna see, so that was constant voltage. You know, it's, it's holding the voltage constant. It says CV right here. Now I'm gonna put these together, short them, and we're gonna do it again. Now we got 0.54 volts across these leads and 0.537, you know, whatever. It says 0.54, this one has a lot more digits, so it's 5.523 something. And we're pumping current to these leads, okay, 4.2 amps. So now it says constant current. So if you're charging a battery, for instance, you set this thing up for, say, 12.6 uh, volts and you set the current to maybe four amps or one amp or whatever, you're gonna get constant current charging until the voltage charges up to 12 and then it's gonna switch over to constant voltage because now the voltage is holding things down, regulating. So right now we're regulating on current and when the voltage goes up, we'll regulate on voltage. So that's the constant current, constant voltage. I love that we have watts on the screen. I love that the companies are starting to do that. So. Now we have all these displays, okay? So let's go ahead, turn this off again, and let's just hold one down. I'll bet you if I hold this down, it programs to that. I'm guessing it did. Um, let's change the voltage to 10, and we'll change the current to 2.2. Let's hold two down, okay? Let's see if, okay, one, yep, and then go back to two, yep. So what's really neat about this, guys, if you're testing something and you're testing it, let's say at um, you know, 10 and 2.2, but then you want to jump up to another voltage and you want to see how that handles that, like say your input to uh, DC-DC and you want to see the input, uh, input step voltage and see if your output's still regulating, then you can jump between your two inputs like that. That's really cool. So yeah, really neat. You can set your current limits so when you're bringing the voltage up on something, the you know the if it goes crazy, it'll protect your your unit so you don't cause too much damage when you know current's rushing through it. And look down here, it shows M2. So it says, says even though this is lit up, it also is telling us right here you are in M2 and it says off. So let's turn it on. Again, we're regulating 2.2 amps. Okay. We're down to 0.28 volts now because these are going to drop less. And so, okay, so maybe you're wondering, can it handle the current? So let's crank it up to 6.2. And I don't feel anything getting hot. Now, what I like about this power supply, you notice how when I set it, it blinked, blinked, blinked for a few seconds. and gave me a chance to say, oh, crap, I didn't want that. I can change it. But then after it stops blinking, it applies the, uh, the new setting to the output. And so the wattage changed at that point. So pretty cool, huh? And the leads are cool too. They're not hot at all. So they can easily handle this 6.2 amps. So, I mean, they're not warming up one, one bit. All right, guys. So um, what do you think? Really nice setup, right? Um, I think, yeah, I like it. Now, you notice it's red when it's constant current. The text on the front is in red as well. It says constant current. And then green is constant voltage. So, yeah, if we go, if we turn it off, see it goes to green, now we're back to constant voltage. And it's kind of ironic because up here, voltage is red, it says constant voltage in red. Maybe they should change the color of these two things to match this <laughs> but you know either way i mean it, it really doesn't make a difference it's just color matching i guess but anyway works great i mean yeah so just a quick you know so this is just quick box opening and kind of go over it real quick and show you in case you're interested you don't want to see a bunch more but you know it's big heavy units linear power supply linearly regulated so it's gonna be really clean but big display, power, current, and voltage, which I like, plus the memories and the on-off button. Those are all features I re really like on this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Two big thumbs up to Unity for sending this out to me. I, I really like it. I mean, you know, the display on this, same thing, current, volts, watts. 
I was I, I when I put this down I started looking over here and I thought wow there's a lot of similarities between the functionality um, switching power supply not as many memory locations um, this one has you know it's a linear plus it has more memory and so this one probably half the cost of this one probably around a hundred bucks I'm guessing uh, anyway I think it's under a hundred bucks but yeah, that's what you get when you know you start going to linear power supplies. It costs a little bit more, and but if you know, I mean, I like this one. I, I really like the layout. I mean, it's huge, right? So I gotta. I keep on saying I'm gonna organize my bench, but I'm. I am. I gotta take something else out of a box. Got one more thing to look at. Okay, and then after that, I'll figure out what this bench is gonna look like. I've got some power supplies I'm going to give away, by the way. So if you're watching this video, if you watch this far, say power supply giveaway in this video, comment, okay? And then when I do the video where I talk about giving it away, you'll have two entries into it, all right? And if you're a Patreon or a member of your channel, you already have two entries. So um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, all my patrons and the members of the channel and Danny for being a team member. And oh, and... You know, I I just had a birthday a couple of days ago, so I had a couple of people buy me a beer down below. Put their names right here. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate that. So, hope you guys like this. I think this is a winner for for just over two hundred bucks. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and plus you have the five volt two amp. So, so I'm gonna do another video where I open this up and we do some more rigorous testing, and I kind of show you like overshoot, undershoot, if it has any of those issues when we switch between these. So I've got a few things in mind. So it'll be a video about testing this and looking at, you know, under the hood. Maybe they'll be two separate even. I'm not sure. Just try to keep the videos a little shorter. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. And free way to support the channel is like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.